Hey everyone, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. I hope you are well today. So I'm not using my normal uh, MacBook because my son's hogging it. He's doing a project. So I'm trying to get him into NFTs as well. <laughs> but I will need to report on NFT art finance because there's been so much hype recently and the last two NFT art finance videos that I did on YouTube have had so much success. So I will need to continue the news for everybody that is interested in this project. It's a very good project and I'm actually very passionate about it because they currently have enter.art platform live. They have enter.audio platform live, but officially live at the end of this month for anybody to be able to mint. So currently it's just uh, artists that are onboarded for audio. So as you may or may not know, there's been a huge spike, you know, around 250%, I think it was. Massive gains in terms of what we've been living with for the last well, six months maybe. So I just thought I'd go through coin market cap just to kind of illustrate that. So if we look at the last three months, as you can see, the majority of the time we have been in the red decline, but more recently there's been a huge spike. So if I drill down into one month now, you can see the real difference there. I mean, there's there's been such little momentum for such a long time. So it is great to see this new spike. If we have a look at the last, last seven days, you'll see that you've got a bit more detail now. Um, there was some quite scary drops, let's be honest, a lot of people selling. And uh, But what is good to see on here is that this token has seemed to recover really well. If you have a look at the last day, I don't think there's much information again. Huge drops and then back up again. So the recovery of the token is really, it's something that's really important. I'm not a financial advisor. So it's just for entertainment purposes only. But what you can see here is whenever there has been a major dip, there's three that you can see, the main ones. They, they, the token recovers incredibly quickly. Now, the reason why I think this change has been happening is that there's been a lot of restructuring of the team and uh, the roadmap changes as well. But also Bitcoin has been doing tremendously well recently in the market. But I wanted to show you the latest updates in terms of the project on their Discord channel. Ignore all of my apps and stuff because I'm using my iPad. So if I have a look at Enter and have a look at Announcements. So we've got Simon here reporting. So the main CEO, the previous CEO, Licky, has stepped down. And so this is from Simon. So my turn to post an announcement. So we had quite an extensive Ask me anything this Saturday telling you about the restructuring and our plans for the future. So as mentioned in that, we're doing a restructuring of Enter, the company, which means that the company is growing all the time and they're doing a private investment round where some of the key developers that have been building Enter will be investing in the company and coming in on the ownership side as well. Now that's good because that brings a lot of passion. When you're invested in something, it makes a huge difference and the amount of work that you provide to that company. This accomplishes two different things. First of all, the longevity of the core team, having ownership in the company, bringing in new capital. So that's really good for long-term growth. Also, as mentioned, they've passed 100,000 NFTs sold on Enter platforms. That is huge. I said in the last video, I thought it was 10,000. Somebody corrected me in the comments. So thank you for that. 100,000 NFTs. A lot of people have just haven't heard of Enter. They know they've heard of OpenSea, but they have not heard of Enter. So this will continue to grow. And it is an enormous milestone and worthy a little celebration. But we are not resting there. With huge growth comes an even bigger responsibility to continue that growth. To that end, we are doing the following things. We are growing the community. We heard you loud and clear. We will be reopening our Telegram group. Over the course of the next few weeks, we'll be banding together a selection of skilled and dedicated community team members in order to be able to support our TG community in a meaningful way moving forward. So there'll be a dedicated team on their Telegram. So Telegram they had initially before they had the Discord, but they're reopening Telegram because they recognise that there's a huge community opportunity there. We are working out strategies to ensure our re-entry into it will become as successful as possible. Growing the business, we're spending a lot of time working on partnerships with big brands and personalities who want to launch NFTs to their audiences on Enter. This is part of what we are, what we for a long time have been calling Enter.x. 
Now Enter.x, before I actually knew what it was, I thought it was going to be something completely different. But it's more about having a white label platform where other brands, celebrities can have their own marketplace and uh, both on art or audio and on their own branded landing pages at the same time. So think of it like Shopify. This is going to enable Shopify for celebrities and brands to utilize the NFT technology that's been developed for, from Enter and it'll be called Enter.x. This will open up Enter to new and larger brands while at the same time bringing new audiences and collectors to .art and .audio. We're still very much in the infancy from my point of view. You know, when we get um, more benefits coming forward, which is further down, I'll get to that in a minute, then I think this will continue to grow. Certainly from my point of view, with the payment gateway, if that is live, that's going to a huge difference because you won't need to the token the nft art finance token to actually purchase on those platforms and you can use a credit card that will make a huge difference from my point of view the deals we're working on are bigger than any of us can imagine right now so i'll keep it at that until we've got more information to share but i will use this opportunity to tell you a bit about how we will structure updates going forward so timing, since we don't have the roadmap with dates any longer, we'll be using the following terms. There's short term, meaning weeks, medium term, meaning months, and long term, meaning more than six months. And I'll give you some short term updates here, which will mean weeks, and we'll be following up with some medium term and long term updates on Monday next week. This is great. This is a good, dedicated plan. Over the mean coming weeks, in terms of short term, we will be migrating all audio NFTs from Enter.art to Enter.audio. Now, that's good news. I actually wondered what they were going to do with all of the music and audio on Enter.art. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it seemed a bit, I don't want to say disjointed. It was nice that music was there. But now that we've got the dedicated platform of Enter.audio to facilitate music, it makes complete sense. Plus, Enter.audio is currently fairly low-key. I'm one of those artists known as Cyber Monday, sorry, Cyber Monday that's been onboarded onto it. I uh, had to have an interview with the Enter team and uh, it went really well and it's great. I've had a lot of success on the platform already, but it is fairly quiet. That it's, it's kind of like a trickle of artists coming through. And uh, by migrating all audio NFTs from Enter.art to Enter.audio will make a huge difference, I think, in terms of the amount of NFTs that will be available. They'll also be adding filters for first hand owned by creators and second hand sales owned by other creators in the galleries. So I imagine you'll be able to filter on things like low price or oldest or something like that, similar to what we've currently got now on Enter.art if you take a look. Their gas fee compensation plan for creators who spent gas on migrating their NFTs to the multi minter update from ERC721 to 1155 is now live. So in the first phase of our compensation plan, we've decided to refund the full amount spent on the conversion process in BNB. The exact amounts of gas spent have been extracted from the smart contract and all compensations will be handled automatically. So there is no need to submit any data to us. Now, if we look at the months away, medium terms and long terms, which is more than six months, there'll be more announcements coming next week. So I will obviously do a video when I hear um, more in terms of that but you know this Disgorge channel has 26,614 members it's, it's a very good community and, and I do love checking this Discord out there's an awful lot of stuff on here you can find the NFT showcase you can look at contests suggestions you can make there's community there there's AMA sessions and various streamings from artists on the uh, Hangouts as well. And the fact that Telegram will be um, live fairly soon, that will be good news as well. So I believe, just going back to that token, I believe all of those restructuring, keeping on top of everything, professionalism, keeping in touch with the community, helping the community and the general Bitcoin which dominates the market so much, all of those things combined have made a difference on this token. There's a lot of investors on this token at the moment, so they want to see this go up. And um, from my point of view, being a um, synth pop artist on here, 
it was a bit of shock when it went up because all of the NFTs that I put on Enter.audio, you know, all of a sudden they've kind of doubled in price, they've tripled in price. So it makes you wonder because those NFTs are attached to, to this token, when it is incredibly volatile, those prices are really going to fluctuate. So when it does go down again, if it does, I don't want to say when, because I don't want it to, but if, if it does go down again, that's almost like a, a sale on the NFT platform market. And, uh, you know, or that's an opportunity to buy more tokens. Whereas um, when it goes high, obviously the NFTs will be ex expensive now, but on the secondary market, there may be room for scale. You may be able to sell some secondary now NFTs. So I think it's an interesting concept, this project. And I can't wait to keep just reporting on it because I just love to do that on YouTube. And, and thank you for all of the comments that I receive. And uh, something that I did want to report as well, because I've forgotten the last few videos. I do have my own Discord channel, NFT Music Info forward slash Cyber Monday. So please come and join me. I'll put the link in the description. And, um, you know, it's a start. I've got a few people on here messaging me at the moment. I've got various channels such as Introductions General. Uh, you can see that my YouTube really did spike recently, which is why I've decided to mention that on my Discord channel. We have official links of my music, all of the different projects that I'm working on. Any suggestions to improve this channel and to improve the community, you'd let me know in the suggestions. Cyber Monday, all about my synth pop music, synth wave music, I update on the Cyber Monday section. All of the updates that I have regarding all of the videos that I've done for NFT Art Finance and all of the other ones, I've done ones on Foundation, as many platforms as I possibly can that involve music. I try and feature on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do, because I will keep you up to date. I must have done over 30 videos on NFT art finance now, because I've been going six months. There's also many projects that I've done, such as the Hex project on OpenSea, music NFTs. So my NFT recently sold on Foundation, which was uh, tremendous news for me. Great to be recognized as a kind of official, decent creator. So, you know, that's great news. So I report on foundation as well. Any art NFTs, I like to uh, keep people up to date on that as well. And there's a um, few other people reporting on there. So, you know, it's an opportunity to be able to share your projects as well, if you have any. Any NFT ideas. And we've got various voice channels and other things which we haven't started at the moment. So, yeah, feel free to join the Discord channel. I like to keep in touch with all different types of projects. I've got a huge amount of Discord channels. Audio, so I go on, which is the streaming one. There's um, other platforms that I've featured before, such as Band Royalty. There's Async Art. There's Catalog. Um, Trip T T C P I P. I've forgotten how to pronounce it already because it's been a while. Trip Sip, I think it is. Trip Sip. And uh, there's all kinds of NFT projects that I'm on. So I've got a Degenerates um, NFT at the moment, which allows me onto the community. I'm very passionate about music and NFT, so anything related to both technology and music, I'm all for. So if there's any projects that you think I should be interested in, please let me know. And I think I will leave it there. So thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. It really does. And uh, any questions you got, please feel free to join my Discord channel. And um, 